Hey guys, Silent CL here. Welcome to the final unboxing of 2020. As you can tell, I have quite a bit of stuff on my right and left. So prepare for a very long unboxing. Um, but before we do all this, I hope you guys are all well in your own countries, wherever you are from. Make sure you stay safe, wear your mask properly, have yourself clean, wash your hands with soap and water, sanitize if they are not around. You know, all the good stuff to protect yourself and your family members. Um, so yes, we need to strive to work for a better future that is hopefully 2021. <laughs> so before we touch all the wonderful anime merchandise, um, and of course, if uh, if you have found any of the similar interests that you yourself enjoy, we can talk about it in the comment section down below. Or maybe you might be interested to try out whichever series that I somehow introduced in all my unboxing videos. Um, and yeah, eventually if you do give it a try, you can let me know what are your thoughts about the series that you have given it a go um, in the comment section down below as well. We'd love to talk about it with you guys. Uh, whether you agree or disagree, whether it's actually good or better than certain series, if I ever reference them. Uh, but before we begin all this, um, make sure you, you get, grab yourself some snacks, drinks, because this video is definitely going to be long. I'm sure you have noticed the timer count on the YouTube thumbnail. <laughs> so prepare yourself, get comfy, get cozy as we dive into all the anime merch. But before we begin, I'm going to show off two bundle of items that really mean a lot to me. Um, these items are actually um, flown in from Greece and USA. <laughs> and they were given to me by very dear friends or well, basically one of them was actually given to me by very dear friends. The other one was more of like a um, care bundle that was from me supporting my friend uh, who is an idol, you know, so eventually let me explain who this person is later but let's start off with the one that came from Greece so this is actually just a small um, bundle that uh, is incomplete <laughs> because the rest of the items are actually in the fridge um, so this one came from Greece um, my friend Katrina um, actually sent them over to me because she wanted to show her appreciation of all the stuff that I've been doing for the Macross fandom. I have been um, translating all the official Macross news and of course in the past when I had a Macross group, I was uploading all the fan art and of course um, sharing the Macross love and the culture onto that fan group uh, which is now currently closed. So yes, but I'm still doing all the Macross translation stuff um, you know, for Uta Macross and all the official Macross events and all that kind of stuff as a fan. <laughs> I am not hired by Big West in any way. So yes, I'm doing all this as a fan. And of course, because I love Macross in my own way as well. I want to um, give back to the community, you know, and hopefully um, spread the culture around the world. So if you guys want more Macross news, you can follow me on my YouTube Facebook page, links in the description down below as always, um, you can follow me there. And of course, if you guys are interested in gaming and all that stuff, um, yes, I do stream on Twitch, of course, links in the description as well. Um, do follow me on Twitch, um, I do try to um, stream on Twitch as much as I can, uh, depending on my schedule, it's all tight because I have a full-time job. At the same time, I'm doing YouTube content, you know, there's just not enough time. <laughs> I, I do my best, I try my best. Alright, so anyway guys, um, so she sent me a postcard which is of London, surprisingly it's not Greece. <laughs> and there's a uh, very um, sweet messages in Japanese and in English. So that is, that is very lovely. So hey Wen-T, I hope this finds you well. I'm glad I got to know you. You're a great person and a great friend. Alright, that's really nice. And of course, there's this really flimsy piece of note that actually has instructions on what the, the sweets that she gave me are. So um, there are quite a few nuggets um, I noticed when I was opening the box. So I had to put them in the fridge because um, apparently these are 
are made with very little preservatives and they kind of expire pretty fast um, so yeah and so I had to I had to put them in the fridge you know, to prolong its expiration date but this this is the thing that actually surprised me the most I think she got someone um, to commission um, this illustration of Ranka and Icon. then of course the frame the frame has shells pasted on them I do not know if she actually bought a frame and then pasted the shells onto the frame herself because um, I can definitely see the glue around the edges of the shells so I don't think if this was you know like professionally done I don't think you would probably have seen um, the glue remains sticking out prominently so this might be actually handcrafted by her so that's pretty sweet of her so yes gonna have to put this here <laughs> all right so yes that's one of the reasons why I changed my um, recording area because well ever since that now that I'm living alone in this place um, I've always wanted to do my unboxing videos with a table in front of me so like w once I've taken out the items from the boxes at least I can put it there you know to show you guys um, and give you guys a better look of the, the amount of stuff that I actually unboxed <laughs> so okay let me put the notes aside don't want to lose these precious things here we go and the next one um, I'm gonna showcase okay so this one is from my my dear friend Phoebe from USA um, she as well is um, a Macross fan and of course she she stands Rankali just like I do so this is Phoebe's first EP so this is yes this is a CD single that she has released herself um, and of course it comes with six tracks as you can tell there's a illustrated and a, a, a animated version of herself at the back of the cover so her first EP is called Moon Garden, Moon Garden. Um, of course she signed the booklet for me uh, I think she signed for all the Kickstarter fans so those who supported her, her EP through Kickstarter so in fact speaking of which um, she actually started a second Kickstarter for her second EP so if you guys want to support her um, you can find her Kickstarter link in the description down below you know she's just roughly 600 US dollars away from reaching her goal to release the second EP as a physical disc as well so I'm definitely looking forward to um, getting her second EP as a physical as well so if you guys like the background music that you're currently hearing yep that's from Phoebe um, she she idolizes Mame Gu as well so yes she's um, Mame Gu is the voice actress for Ranka Lee so she is pretty much like um, you know um, like me a big fan of Ranka Lee and Mame Gu so yes so this is very adorable you're gonna take a look at inside so yep this is what the CD looks like so it's very nicely printed you know considering that it is not professionally done and very well done <laughs> very well done EP it even has a barcode here that's, that's pretty surprising <laughs> mm. so okay uh, aside from the CD the physical CD she actually has handwritten letters so the envelope as you can tell has my name on it so yes that's my real name um, and yeah inside the envelope uh, along with the handwritten note uh, which I will probably not read because she's pretty shy with um, the content she has handwritten on it um, I've, I've asked her if it was okay to read the letter but you know she's, she's shy about it but you know I'm gonna show you what she's actually given inside this letter so it's a tiny sticker tiny sticker with her illustration uh, illustrated version of her on it okay and of course we have a few pictorial cards the back of it has her you know same thing the design of the character and of course there is also the character version there's a shiny version with the gold sparkly border and of course this is a regular version as well all right and of course they have we have pictures of herself 
So these photos are actually from uh, another of her, you know, projects where she actually did a photo shoot. And of course, she she didn't print like a physical photo book, but instead there was a digital um, album. So she she kind of gave out. I think I can't remember how did I get it. Um, or was it because I was a Patreon? Yeah, I think because I was supporting her on Patreon as well. So. Um, and I was in the highest tier, so uh, all of us who are the, in the higher tiers will get a full, um, you know, digital copy of her, her photo shoot. So it's nice to have them in a physical hard card. And and this is this is not cheap cardboard either. <laughs> it's pretty thick, so the quality is definitely there. Um, but of course, the most precious thing is definitely her letter, you know, handwritten and very very sweet message uh, inside it so i'm sadly to say i'm not going to read it <laughs> and this is not the end of it in fact there's one more item um in this whole kickstarter package um so yeah all right let me just keep this you know out of harm's way so here is the last thing it is actually a poster of her ep cover oh there we go and this one is also signed i'm not sure if you can see the signature there we go it's it's kind of shiny there at the corner here yeah so i got it framed um one one of the reasons being okay this one pd if you're watching this video um this is kind of like a tip to you <laughs> um the reason why i got it framed is because yes one thing is because the poster is precious to me secondly is because well, um, the package that I I you, I got it in, um, it's that triangle long poster box. Uh, I've never seen it in Singapore before. I guess it's probably exclusive to the US. Um, and the poster was in the box, but it wasn't really protected by anything but cotton balls, I guess. Uh, and the poster was kind of crumpled. Um, so luckily enough, the, the framing company um, helped me out by pasting the poster on a hard cardboard, you know, that was still thick enough to go into the frame. And they helped me iron out some of the creases. But sadly to say, I don't know if you can see, um, there's this mark near the your chin area. Yeah, that's a permanent dent in the poster that I cannot recover. But you know, for a far, at least the poster looks perfectly fine. <laughs> so yeah, so um, TV, if you are watching this, like I said, um, maybe you might to consider maybe protecting the poster in like some kind of a hard tube. Um, you know, if you don't want to spend too much money protecting the goods, um, you know, maybe get some kind of like hard, um, bendable cardboard, you know, that you can kind of protect the, the poster in so that you know it doesn't get destroyed through airmail or whatever um, whatever i guess mailing systems whichever country has you know because some countries the mailing systems aren't as gentle as what we have in singapore uh so yeah you might want to consider that in the future <laughs> so anyways yeah um so luckily enough the ep's crystal casing did not get destroyed this time um unlike the ones that I got for her unit. So yes, Phoebe is actually in a idol unit called Fairy. Um, so Phoebe and Airy. So they form Fairy. And yeah, so uh, I actually supported her unit before. So I did get two special CDs from her unit as well that were signed. But sadly to say the crystal casings were totally destroyed. So hmm, I had to go and replace them. <laughs> Alright, enough me picking. I actually love all the stuff that you know um TV's Kickstarter had. So very, very precious stuff. Um if you like the music that you hear in the background, go and check her out. She streams quite a bit on Twitch. You can find her there most of the time. She has her own YouTube channel as well. Um, you know, but most of the time she's mostly on Twitch. So go check her out. You know, and of course, don't forget, I too am streaming on Twitch. If you guys like to chill and play uh, and, and watch, you know, and even maybe you want to play games with me, follow me on Twitch. All the links are in the description. Mine and Phoebe's 
go follow us, give us a heart, and we'll see you around the channels. All right, so that is out of the way. So these are the two precious um, family members in my life that is not related by blood, but in another country. Um, so we have a sister in Greece and we have a sister in USA. Um, so a lot of a lot of love right here, uh, you know. So let's move on with the actual unboxing. And the first thing to begin with, let me just move these away for now. For now, um, the first thing I want to show you off, or uh, rather the first batch of items that I want to show off, is all from the Macross franchise. So here is one thing that I got for myself. The rest of the stuff is basically not mine. Um, so this is the Playmat. You know, from the official Macross fan club event. So as you can tell, the artwork, I'm sure you guys have seen this before because if you guys are following me on my YouTube Facebook page, I always update all these um, official stuff um, on the Facebook page itself. And of course, you should probably know where this artwork is from. All right. If you guys do not know where it's from, you should definitely follow me on my YouTube Facebook page. Uh, I always upload, you know, and translate all the official Macross information that maybe is related to events, uh, especially the one that recently just ended, which was the uh, Kyoto Tower and fashionable Macross Valkyrie event. And okay, so next up is a Mikumo, oops, it's upside down, <laughs> a Mikumo clear file. Um, yeah, as you can tell, it's the same design. So of course, if you want individual divas merchandise, they do sell it as well. But because of the COVID situation, I had to cut back on certain merchandises because financially, uh, I'm not able to go wild as much as anymore. So that's why I only got the playmat. You know, I have all the five ladies here in just one single thing to remember of for this event, which is good enough for me. It, it looks awesome. And yep, so aside from that, we have ID stickers for the three ladies. We have Freya, Mikumo, and Kaname. So as you can tell, I have friends who like these three characters. Certainly no love for Makina and Reina. Because <laughs> basically, usually I'm the one who supports Makina and Reina, but you know, because I'm cutting back, that's so, all, you know, we don't get to see everything. All right, and then of course, we have a different version of Kumo Kumo. Yeah. So this one, of course, once again belongs to a huge Makina, uh, Mikumo fan, not Makina. All starts with M. I get confused sometimes. And of course, we have the clear acrylic stands of the three ladies. All right, so we're gonna put them here, and we have keychains. All right, so we have two different ladies this time round. So no Freya love this time. So here we go. We have Kaname and Mikumo. Let me just show off one by one. Yeah, and go lovely, lovely stuff. Okay, and we have Kaname here. Ah, there we go. Gotta love Kaname's design with the, the extremely revealing back. Although all the ladies are actually like this. Um, it's just that, you know, Kaname was the only one illustrated to have that sexy back. <laughs> all right. Okay, so, um, all right. I have to shift this. Let me shift all this on. Uh, it's okay. I'm going to put this here. Yeah, right there. And this is why I love to have a uh, desk in front of me when I do unboxings because I can just show off all the, the love that is right here on the table. All right, yeah, VBCD. I don't think I can lean on this. Yeah, I can. All right, good stuff. <laughs> okay, um, somewhat related to Macross, let's move on, is this one so this is suzuki minori's latest photo book it's not exactly a gravier book because she's not wearing a swimsuit or all that kind of stuff so if you're a freya weon fan or rather if you're a big fan of suzuki minori her the seiyu for uh, freya weon you definitely want to get yourself a copy of this so yeah here we have the back cover and of course if you order the book you'll be given this so this is a printed um, sign photo 
Um, I wouldn't call it a photo because it's actually art card. <laughs> it's not exactly photo material, but yeah, as you can tell. And of course, um, inside the book, there is also this. A bunch of crazy Minori stickers. There you go, as usual, um, because Minori is just a playful girl. Um, well, woman, yeah, she's already past 20 years old and higher. <laughs> so inside here, there are two photos that I really, really like. Aside from, you know, the usual cheerful, playful Minori that we, we all come to know and love. So this is her usual self. Uh, I like that there is actually a bit more of a mature um, set of photos inside here. So let me see if I can find it. I won't reveal everything though, because it's really uh, pointless to review everything in the book. Uh, it's going to you know, lose its value. Alright, so here we go. This is another one of the mature, oops, one of the mature photos of Minori that you rarely see nowadays. Uh, in fact, Minori is starting to be a bit more like Mamegu um, because, well, um, she, she kind of idolizes Mamegu in a way because she is just like Mamegu in the Macross franchise. Mamegu started off um, as an idol as well in the Macross series. You know, she herself is an idol when she first debuted. Um, then playing Rangali, who's exactly like her. Then of course Freya Weon is also similar, um, which is to be an idol in, in Walkure's unit. And of course, uh, Freya Weon idolizes Ranka Lee and Ranka Lee idolizes um, Cheryl Gnome. Uh, yeah, so pretty much uh, the, the seiyus themselves role play as the characters in Macross, the franchise. So that's, that's pretty lovely, you know. Okay, so let me just pick out one more photo. Oh, here is one interesting page. So it shows all of Minori's YouTube videos that she's created thus far. So that's pretty interesting. So yes, Minori is a YouTuber as well. You know, if you guys don't know, and, and she's not the only one in Walkure who has a YouTube channel. Um, you know, Mamegu has a YouTube channel, but she's not like an actual YouTuber. Um, Toyama now does YouTubing as well. You know, you know, all her music content plus at the same time, content like an actual YouTuber, just like Minori. You know, cooking, singing, uh, doing interviews and all that kind of stuff. And yes, one more mature photo of Minori before I close this book finally. So that's pretty nice. So yes, Mame, uh, Minori, <laughs> Minori is starting to follow the path of Mamegu. Uh, Mamegu initially started as a very cutesy idol as well. And then of course, eventually she grows into a very mature type of singer. So Minori is somewhat similar path, uh, paving the way similarly. I, I can't talk right now, it's late. Did you know that this video that you're watching right now is my third take on recording this unboxing video? Oh god, so many trial and error. I'm so tired. <laughs> okay, so yes, here we go. Uh, putting aside Minori's book. So if you guys are big fans of Suzuki Minori, please Try, try and get yourself a copy of this. Um, I'm not a huge fan, but you know, I enjoy Minori's craziness. Uh, she's just fun to be um, around with. I mean, I don't really go around with Suzuki Minori, but it's just, it's just fun being around her presence online digitally, you know, that kind of stuff. It's just, it's just, it's just entertaining and enjoyable. All right, so um, I'm going to touch a bit on this stuff, the CD stuff first because it's somewhat related to Macross in a way, um, so just keeping the patterns flowing. I have never watched Kan Kale, but here I am with the, uh, mem uh, I guess it's Memorial Collection. So what is the reason why I bought this soundtrack? Well, it's because Juna sang a cover of the opening song. So if you don't know who Juna is, Juna is Mikumo singing voice in Macross Delta. So and not only that, uh, Kan Kole also has another Macross Seiyu 
inside this series, which is Toyama Nao. So yeah, I think this character here is actually Toyama Nao's character. If I'm not wrong, I might be wrong because I don't watch Kan <laughs> But yeah, so if you look at the back of the song listing, the very first track here, I don't know if you can see it, is actually by Toyama Nao. Then of course, the cover song in the middle here is by Juna. So that's one of the reasons why I got it and because I am actually a pretty big Juna fan. So I, I definitely needed you know, to add that song to my Juna collection. Um, even though, yes, I'm technically just buying this CD for two songs because Toyama now and Juna. Yeah, that's how much dedication I have, I guess. Okay, so the next CD is, yes, it's, it's actually Juna this time. <laughs> it's all Juna here. Um, so this is Juna's second album, uh, her 2020 album, basically her coming of age album. Um, so yes, Juna is 20 years old finally, she's an adult in Japan. So yeah, so this one comes with the Blu-ray disc, um, which contains three music videos. Um, so yeah, so check her out. Juna, definitely um, an idol that's worth looking forward to. She's been coming to AFA, I guess. She's attended AFA events, well, one live last year in night. In uh, 2019, she came to Singapore for the first time, technically not, because she, I'm, I'm sure she's come to Singapore before as a, as a younger child, uh, but for performance-wise, it's her first time in Singapore, and of course she attended, uh, she took part, not attended, she took part in AFA's 2020 online event, um, where she actually showed off her um, birthday online stream that i had to pay and apparently all the afa fans who were free that day got to watch it for free hmm. <laughs> i'm not salty i'm not salty but mm -hmm. <laughs> anyways moving along with another macross artist which is mamegu so yes mamegu my waifu she's ranka seiyu um yes so this is her anime song collection so it has all her works from all the anime series. It's very hard to tell. It's too far away. I wish I could stretch further. Uh, gotta get rid of this belly. <laughs> so yeah. Um, so I ordered this off Amazon Japan mainly because of one thing. Um, Amazon Japan's bonus is always a gigantic blown up cover of the CD. So yeah, I had to get it framed as well because who knows, maybe eventually when I get the chance to see Mame Gu um, in Singapore, if she ever comes to Singapore again, she has come to Singapore once. Also in 2019, you know, and sadly to say there was no opportunity to get her to sign anything, which is really sad because, you know, aside from this, which I wish she could sign, um, the other thing that I really want her signature on is the Good Job CD that she did for Macross Frontier um, two years back in 2018. So I have Mayon, May, Mayon, Mayon signature on the cover already. Uh, I'm just short of Mame Go signature and that would have been complete. So I guess this is going to take even longer to eventually get signed. Maybe in the future she might have a another album um, that might be more important for me to get her signature on. Uh, in fact, she has one more album coming out next year in March, um, Green Diary, so check her out. You know, of course, um, that one will be in the, mm, I guess, next unboxing video or maybe two unboxing videos away. It's in March, maybe an unboxing video in March, so <laughs> for now, character song album from Mamegu, full of love. Uh, if you guys uh, didn't know, she actually has in, been a, in quite a few anime series, including Pre Pretty Cure. So uh, yeah, a lot of... In fact, the first five songs here on this uh, album is all Macross Frontier. Then the rest are all from the other anime series that she's taken part in. And of course, there's one soundtrack here that is from uh, Happiness Charge Pre Cure. Um, yeah, so this 
Happiness Charge PQ is definitely one of her more dominant anime roles. So yeah, okay. So let me put this aside. And let's move on with the next CD. So from here onwards, it's not Macross related uh, anymore. So this one, this one is a bit unusual. So this is a single by Leo Eerie. I, I hope I didn't butcher her name. So yeah, here we go. As you can tell, it's not in a crystal case. So it's, it's, it's just like this. Um, and the sing and the single's uh, name is Answer, which is also one of the songs, um, which is basically what I bought this for. So if you're wondering how is it related to an anime, well, this is actually an opening song for another favorite uh, favorite series of mine. If you guys didn't know, I'm a big baseball fan. Uh, well, I, I wish to play baseball myself, but sadly to say, baseball is not exactly a very popular sport in Singapore. Uh, it is a popular sport in the US and Japan. In fact, it's the number one sport in Japan. <laughs> um, so yeah, and it belongs to the anime series called Major Second Season 2. So yeah, this is the opening song for that anime itself. I'm sure you guys have probably heard of Major um, it's a very popular ma baseball series that has been running for years now. I followed the franchise since its release. Uh, the main character has grown up, become a dad, and now Major Second is talking about the son. So it's pretty much like watching Boruto and Naruto. It's just that Major is actually written better with better animation teams as well. So um, I'm so sorry, Shonen Jump, you could do better. <laughs> so yes, major second. If you have the time and you, if you're interested in baseball, go check out the series, the entire series, in fact, from first generation until second generation. You will have a blast of a time. You will feel emotional roller coasters. You will feel passion for the sport. If you love baseball, go check out Major. It's definitely one of the better baseball series out there in anime formats. So, okay, moving along. You've seen me unbox the Nandroids, and now I have this. Oja Majo Dore Mi movie soundtrack. Yes, this is in celebration of its 20 years anniversary. Uh, there is a recent movie that has been shown in Japan. Sadly to say, the movie is not in Singapore yet. I don't know if any other countries are going to get it uh, as a cinema release. Um, but if it doesn't get a cinema release, I do hope that they release the movie in Blu-ray or DVD format in the future so I can check out the movie um, and have it added to my collection because Doremi uh, is definitely one of my childhood nostalgia animes. I watched this when I was probably still in primary school. <laughs> so yeah, we have primary and secondary school here in Singapore. We don't have like high school and uh, uh, preschool, I guess, um, that kind of educational ranking. Um, so yeah, primary school and secondary school. Is it the same for you in your own country? So Oja Majo Doremi, I'm going to have to listen to the soundtrack before I even watch the movie. So hmm, that's a bit strange, but still lots of love. Oja Majo Doremi. All right. Here is two CD soundtracks that uh, belongs to an anime series that I think a lot of people missed out in 2020. And sadly to say, I had to pass on the Blu-ray collection as well because COVID has hit me somewhat hard as well and I had to cut back on finances then of course there's a situation where I suddenly had to stay alone in this house so all the financial expenses are now thrown onto me so yes I had to cut back and sadly to say the two blu-ray disc for this anime series I had to forego for time being until I can save up for them uh, in the future so yes these covers these CD singles belong to the anime called Deca Dance. So yes, if you guys have not checked out Deca Dance, um, you will definitely need to. Uh, it's one of the hidden gems in 2020 that will become um, anime classics in the future if people get get it noticed um, more than it should. You know, 
it's it's a definitely a hidden gem anime and i really wanted to get, uh, add the blu-ray collection to my uh my collection <laughs> blu-ray set to my collection uh because it's definitely an anime deserving to be passed on to future generations and uh an anime series to be remembered uh for so if you guys like shangri la um you know that kind of anime you will definitely love this um kill la kill you know the kind of uh action and of course the kind of uh, complexity in storytelling and quality in animation you will love decadence go check out decadence if you have let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of the anime are you fans of it uh, are you going to be uh regretting you know not watching it if you didn't hear about it you know in this unboxing video so okay all the cds are done so whew. This is going to be a very long video, and as you can tell, it's not exactly a cut, edited, paste together clip. Uh, all my videos are mostly like this, it's just one shot go through. It's true unedited, and unedited content. Oh god. Okay, so one, I, I, I almost forgot there's one more CD. This one. Do you guys know what this is? <laughs> it's, yeah, it looks like a present box, but no it's christmas is over so but this is a huge present from can you see the name there claris this is the claris 10th anniversary collection set so yeah here we go the back of the box and inside the box is the two cds that hold all the best songs for claris if you guys don't know who Clarice is, shame on you, where have you been under the rock? Um, they featured in the first anime, um, Kami no Mi no Sekai, which is the world only God knows. Um, then of course, the other popular animes that you've probably heard their songs in is Cells at Work. Uh, and then of course there's Arrow Manga Sensei and so on and so forth. They've been around for 10 years now. I'm sure you've probably heard of their songs somewhere. I'm sure you've heard of Clarice somewhere. So yes, I have actually been following them since their debut. Um, I've loved their songs. And finally, after 10 years, we finally get a face review of the two ladies. So that's pretty exciting. Um, then of course, in this 10... 10th anniversary set there is two pins so the one here is actually the 10th anniversary logo and the one here is um, the animated versions of themselves that they usually use for their promotional uh, material um, since they couldn't reveal their faces due to their um, age being still young and they are going through schooling so they had to hide their identity because uh, you know they don't want their study life to be disturbed so underneath the box is actually a paper craft so this is probably one of the things that i, I will never fix <laughs> so yes um paper craft of a castle that is related to the theme that they have always been going by which is fantasy um so yes definitely a, a memorable collection set for any Clarice fan out there so I've never bought any of their CDs before because well when they debuted I was still a student um, and I couldn't really afford to import stuff uh, back then so finally I can support them in a way by getting the 10th anniversary collection set um, so this is definitely something that's going to be treasured by me for quite a while. Um, maybe in the future you might see some of their singles and albums pop up in my unboxing videos in the future. Now that I could start to afford, um, you know, getting more merchandise of the artists that I love. Alright, okay, so let's move on to the next thing which is the stuff in the box and we are almost halfway done it's just the manga left and all the stuff inside here so thank you guys so much for sticking around all the way to the end if you guys are watching this entire long video in parts thank you for continuing to watch all the way to the end i really appreciate it uh, it helps the channel a lot greatly especially the like button you know if you enjoy all the stuff that i've shown so far hit that like button and of course share to your friends if you like all to 
uh, like all your friends to know about all the series that I've promoted here uh, aside from my cross so, and yes as you can tell on my shirt I am a huge gigantic Yuru Camp fan so here here is the first Yuru Camp item it is Anna Saito and definitely one of my favorite girls in the TV series uh, anime TV series not the live action so um, yes Yuru Camp has a live action series as well we'll talk about that later so this is the last of the five girls you know as a dendroid and of course it's not the end of Yuru Camp's dendroid collection because yes they are, rece they are releasing Rin with a scooter oh god uh, and I thought I was uh, done with collecting all the Yuru Ken androids and no. So I had to get this from the uh, Good Smile online store because it does come with a bonus um, just like the other four girls. So since I already have all of them with bonuses, why not just get you know the last few with bonuses as well. I think this one is an ad additional um, headgear for Chikua which is her dog. As you can tell in the corner here, Chikuwa. So Chikuwa is actually wearing a bunny ear, um, you know, gear, uh, hairband, I guess. You know, <laughs> so yes, definitely looking forward to Rin on her scooter as well. So let me just put this aside. Um, there we go. All right, the next thing, Eurocam T-shirt, the new one. So. Uh, this one is just basically all the girls lined up together on the shirt. So another another Eurocam shirt. My my Eurocam shirt collection is like falling up. I think I've got like seven shirts now that belongs to Eurocam. I'm already wearing one of them, and this one is technically one of my favorite ones. Um, so yeah, <laughs> so this is like a meme T-shirt because if you guys have watched the TV series, you will know this is like a reference to um, Doraemon when Doraemon always pulls out like a tool from his pocket so Rin is actually doing the same thing she's like oh <laughs> all right so enough of the silliness okay um before we touch more of the stuff here I'm going to show you guys the other things here because let's go with the flow of Eurocam yes Eurocam live action tv drama series blu-ray so yes like I said um Eurocam is huge. Um, it, it not only has a manga, uh, TV series, season one, and in fact, season two is coming in January. So, if you guys are excited for season two of Eurocam, let me know in the comments down below. So, I got this off Amazon because Amazon released this with exclusives. So, what is the exclusive on Amazon? Well, it's a set of photos of the ladies, um, the live action versions. You know, and these are actual real photo quality paper, unlike Minori's um, sign card, which was art card. So, yeah, and this is Nadeshiko. Um, so, apparently, Nadeshiko's actress is a very well known Japanese gravure <laughs> idol. So, her, <laughs> I didn't know about it until I was like following her on uh, SNS, which is basically Line, Instagram, Twitter. And uh, wow, she does a lot of gravier shoots, a lot. <laughs> so yeah, a lot. So five photo sets, you know. And of course, this is Rin, so you can tell with the 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 bun up hair. So yeah. So if you guys have checked out Eurocam live action, how what do you think? I think it's a very faithful uh, reenactment to the TV series. Um, you know, it's it's all comfy and cozy, just like the TV anime series and it does follow the story quite diligently so check out the live action if you have not um, so yeah that's pretty exciting but we are not at the end of the euro camp madness that i have here um we have this now euro camp season one tv anime re-release box set so why did I say re-release? Because this is not the original first time they've released Eurocamp in Blu-ray. In fact, as you can tell here, the Blu-ray box is all bundled together. So there's, I think there's three discs inside here. Um, you know, so all three discs is in like a foldable tray. So in the past, when Eurocamp season one uh, was released in Blu-ray, there were three Blu-ray discs, all individuals and there was also a special pre-order for the box 
that help all three discs together. Now, there's a reason why I have not bought Season 1 for a while, even though I did unbox Heia Camp Blu-ray some time back. Um, so, the first release of Yuru Ken's special box set was very, very rare and very expensive in the second-hand market. Um, you can find all three Blu-ray discs individually, but not the box to hold the Blu-ray together. Um, the box alone, what's so special about it? It is illustrated just like this one in the manga style, but all five ladies are in an onsen. So yes, they are covered in towels and in an onsen. So yes, because of that particular illustration, it made that box very expensive. You know how the trend is when you have somewhat lewd images and of course they are women. Uh, the male otakus make it very expensive just because of the demand. Now, I was okay, you know, to a point that I was willing to forgo the box to hold the Blu-rays and just get the three discs uh, individually. It's just cheaper that way, um, you know, because originally if you get all three discs, it's going to cost the same, roughly the same price as this re-release, which has a box by the way. Um, this costs roughly about a roundup price of 300 US dollars. Um, the first releases were also roughly about that price without the box though. Um, so yeah, I was happy that they announced a re-release of Season 1 because, well, Season 2 is coming on its way then, and they know that there are a lot of new fans for Eurocamp. So yes, I had to get this because it's definitely a cheaper alternative uh, and it's basically the same quality, it's just that, you know, it's bundled differently compared to the first one. So yes, and it comes with a booklet as well, which the original first three does not have. So, and of course, if you pre-order it from a special retail store that has bonuses, I got mine from Ami Ami, so it came with this uh, acrylic photo frame of Rin looking comfy and cozy drinking hot beverage in the winter as she's camping alone. So yes, um, other retailers probably will give you like tapestries or posters, but you know, because I have now so many posters that I have to hang in my room, I've run out of space on the walls. So why not just get something that you can put on a table and just, you know, have a comfy, cozy time with Rin. So yes, okay. So all the Eurocam stuff is now out the window. <laughs> You've probably gotten sick of me promoting Eurocam, but you know, to be honest, Ryu Camp is a very great series. If you love camping, if you love nature, and you, if you love uh, slice of life anime, just like k and all that stuff, um, you will love Ryu Camp. All right, so last Blu-ray. Ah, this one really hit me in the childhood feels. Digimon Adventure Last Kizuna. <laughs> As you can tell, yes. Um, the box for this Blu-ray is a spoiler for the movie itself because it features the um, the featured final form for Agumon and Gabumon. Um, well, the movie isn't exactly that fantastic. It's, it's your regular Digimon movie. The quality is just bad at certain times. They, you can tell that the only time that they really did very well with the animation quality is when uh, as usual in any Digimon movie, the fight scenes, the Digivolution scenes, uh, and that's it. <laughs> the rest of the movie is all just low budget animation just because they don't want to toss in more money into the movie's production or, you know, they just want to get uh, get through production because, well, this, this movie was kind of rushed, I think. Uh, so what, what is the main reason why I had to buy this? Um, the movie wasn't exactly very fantastic. I mean, it's your usual formula for a Digimon movie. You know, the, the kids um, go through, um, you know, the usual stuff. They, they, they have a personal problem, which is, you know, what the main story is all about. You know, Taichi and Yamato are uh, maturing a lot faster. Uh, and of course, the bonds between them and their Digimon is starting to break. 
So eventually they will no longer be able to see Gabumon and Argumon anymore because yes, there's a reason there's a reason why they are called di- uh, de- uh, Digi Destiny Kids. Um, you know, because they need to be kids in order to own Digimon. So <laughs> eventually they mature, they become adults, and yeah, they will no longer be able to 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 you know see their Digimon partners anymore. So here is the reason why I pre-ordered this Look at that! Look at that! It's just adorable! Look at Agumon and Gabumon waving through the, the Shirashi board. Uh, it's just like when they like popping out of the the high screen TV in the movie and just uh, saying hi to the, 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 the kids, you know, their partners. You know, this is, this is, this is, this is all I needed to pre-order um, the Blu-ray. You know, the, the content inside here is just kind of like a bonus this this is the main thing this this is the main reason why i got this blue it's just too adorable and you know since i grew up with digimon adventure this is definitely something that i had to get you know aside from maybe the soundtracks <laughs> which is very hard to come by nowadays so yes all the blue is out of the way let's move on to the rest of the stuff in the box okay so you guys know i've been piling up my mandroid collection um, so when they announced this um, exclusive costumes for the Nan, uh, good smile company online store um, I had to get both of them these are the um, Yukatas that is exclusive for the Nandroid doll series so yes I'm planning to turn my Ranka doll my Ranka Nandroid into a doll so here's what the back looks like as you can tell, they are promoting the yukatas on like a mannequin uh, stand. So yes, Good Smile Company has also released the mannequin stands. So I got two of them because I would like to take photos of Ranka looking at the clothes on the mannequin stand. You know, you can uh, eventually when I go into like uh, figure photography, um, this is going to look adorable with that setup in the future. So yeah, had to get them. And of course, there is this. Now, this one is a bit weird, a bit unique. I'm not, I am not a Harry Potter fan. I have not read any of the books. I have not seen any of the movies, but here I have <laughs> an Android doll of one of the Harry Potter characters. Um, the reason why I got this was because, well, she looks adorable, um, you know, in the chibi form. and. The main reason is the, the uniform, the Hogwarts uniform. I really wanted to make Ranka into a wiz- uh, sorceress wizard. <laughs> uh, the female version of a wizard is a sorceress. So technically, um, yeah, I wanted to turn Ranka into a, a sorceress. So so I had to get it. It's just very adorable. They can tell the, the rest of the, the characters are here. So yes, there are all three characters from Harry Potter as Nandroid dolls so if you guys are fans of Harry Potter make sure you go grab yourself um, these because the clothing is actually made out of cloth material pretty high quality cloth, cloth material so definitely worth um, a purchase for any Harry Potter fans out there okay so let me put this aside I'm gonna have to try and stretch out my legs because oh my god it's, it's been an hour unboxing stuff and my leg is start, starting to cramp up a bit so oh gotta gotta rest my legs okay so the same thing with the nandroid situation when i saw this on twitter i had to pre-order it look at this it's a whole patisio display set it has the cakes it has the stand it has the glass display Look at that, it's just too adorable to miss. This is what you will get in the entire box set. So, yeah, I had to pre-order it. Adorable, adorable stuff. So they even tell you how to fold the box into the stage setup. So yes, this entire box is usable. So yes, you have to get this as a whole set to get a full complete outlook. And this is what it will look like once everything is unboxed and folded. So yeah. Very adorable stuff. If you guys are into um, figure posing photography, 
um, miniatures just like this is definitely essential. Um, you, will, you will definitely see more of this kind of things being introduced in my unboxing videos in the future. So yes, if you guys like miniatures, get yourself one of these as well. And here is another set. <laughs> uh, this one is a pastry store, um, or rather a bakery store. So yes, here is what is inside it. Mm. Alright, so lots of bread. Very, very lovely stuff. So here is probably what it will look like if it's set up. So yeah, pastry, tarts, bread, you know, and there's an olive oil bottle. I, I, I don't know if it's included. Yeah, it's actually included. Wow, olive oil, nice. Okay, so the, we're done with the box. All that's left is the manga. We're almost at the end of the video, guys. Ah, oh, I need to stretch my legs. Oh my god, this is really oh. <laughs> I, I I don't know. I have I've never had this problem when I was filming this unboxing video the first two times. I guess ah, uh, it's been a long day. I've been sitting for so long, trying and trying to record this video over and over again. <laughs> oh, come on, you gotta leave me a like on this video. It's just a lot of effort. So yeah, anyways, okay, moving on to the manga and we are almost done. Just clearing some space. So I'm sure you guys know of this manga series by now because I've showed this manga off for I think almost three unboxing videos now. So this is the one that's talking about um, you know, the working life of uh, Michael uh, uh, or Geisha. So it's, uh, it's also a cooking manga series. And as you can tell, this is the latest volume, volume 15. Yes. So in the past, I was talking that the volume 14 was the latest one, but they recently released a, a, a newer volume. And as you can tell on the cover, it feels like there's some kind of love triangle going on, but no, it's actually not. So, um, yeah, if you guys want to figure out what the main cover is actually trying to talk about, go check out the manga. The manga is actually very, very good. Um, the artwork is adorable, um, considering that it's in a kind of a lolly style, if you like lolly characters. But, you know, personally, I'm actually here for the food. I love food manga and of course I love traditional Japan or rather Japan culture in general so I went with this because when they when they were talking about geishas and Michaels and then there's food you've got me <laughs> the, the lolly illustration was basically just an additional thing it, it, it's, an, it's a necessary art style for this cutesy anime uh, no it's not an anime but I wish it was an anime a cutesy manga series definitely go check it out um you know, if you want, yeah. Uh, oh, oh, really? Did I see this wrong? D, look at this. An anime is coming out. 2021 on NHK World Japan. In February? Oh my God, they're releasing an anime? Oh my, oh my god. Oh, that was unexpected. Oh my god. Uh, okay, now I am actually excited. Now this was, I didn't know about this, you know, in the first two takes of this unboxing video until now. Oh my god, they are coming out with an anime. I am actually excited for this. This is, this is actually a very good series. I'm not surprised that it's under NHK because it is kind of an educational um, manga series. You learn about food, you learn about Japan's culture. This is amazing news. Oh my goodness, I, I have one more anime that I cannot wait for 2021. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy about it. Go check the manga out before the anime comes out. Uh, I have no idea who the voice acting cast is yet. Huh. But still, oh my god. Okay, so go check it out. If you guys have actually read up on the manga um, due to my recommendations in my uh, previous unboxings or even after watching this one, if you have gone and check out the manga, do let me know your thoughts on the series in the comments down below. I will definitely love to hear your thoughts. 
you know whether it's your kind of manga if it's not your kind of manga or maybe maybe there's some things that you wish that the manga card could have changed in types of, in terms of its writing and, and drawing skills you know or the personalities of the characters you know that kind of thing but i think this manga is very good on its own you know so definitely looking forward to that anime release all right, moving along, we have the usual stuff that I'm kind of into nowadays, the teasing manga series. So yes, it, this is Nagatoro's latest volume, volume 9. Of course, this one is the limited edition version. It comes with a drama CD. Yes, why it comes with a drama CD? Because it's getting an anime in 2021 as well. So this is definitely one of the um, highlight animes that I'm waiting for. And of course, you can see the Seiyu behind there who is playing Nagatoro. And of course, we have the rest of the Seiyu right here at the bottom. Um, you know, that's taking part in the TV anime series. So definitely looking forward to Nagatoro's anime. I've been following this manga since its debut until now. So definitely looking forward to it. And of course, the other one, I'm sure you recognize the art style. Um, since I've been promoting Takagi-san <laughs> forever. Yes, this is from the same manga car as Takagi-san. If you don't know about this manga, you should definitely go check it out if you like Takagi-san. Um, because this is definitely the manga car's way better improvement upon Takagi-san. Because the, the teasing, the love situation and of course the expressions and artwork has greatly improved in this manga series so yes what is this manga series called is sore demo ayumu wa yosete kuru so yes um if you want to go check it out go check it out um i'm hoping that this becomes an anime as well takagi san has been a very big hit it came out with two seasons and of course uh, Takahashi Rie, who plays Takagi-san, has been asking for the Moto series, which is basically Takagi-san uh, as a parent, and of course with a daughter called Chie. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping that manga series also becomes uh, anime because the Moto series is actually way better than the original Takagi-san. Um, and yeah, the Moto series has actually surpassed the original Takagi-san, and this is now actually number one in rankings for this manga class artwork so yes go check out this manga series if you have not um it's about you know shogi you know the of course the two main characters here have feelings for each other but the male character does not want to confess his feelings to the the senpai you know who is the the president of the shogi club because he wants to beat her at shogi before he confesses his feelings but you know he's lacking in skill because the president is just that good <laughs> so a lot of teasing a lot of um you know romance you know just like what Takagi san has been providing but just better go check out this manga series if you have not definitely definitely you will have a lot of fun time now this next manga series is something that i think a lot of people have been uh fans of recently because of the um, live action drama series you know because it has a few very famous actors uh, especially if you are fans of Nodame Kanta Bell like I unboxed in the last unboxing video and I have actually talked about it yes um, the the main male lead in Nodame Kanta Bell live action is actually the house husband <laughs> So yes, these are all the latest volumes of Goku Shufudo. Uh, I, I have a really hard time pronouncing um, the title for this series because it's kind of like a tongue twister. So yes, here are all the six volumes of the manga series. Yeah, I gotta love that badass Yakuza looking house husband. Um, one of the main reasons why this is very relatable to me because uh, I am technically kind of like him. Well, I'm not Yakuza, but you know, in Singapore we have C secret society. We have the uh, Abings and Alongs. That's what we call them here in Singapore. Um, yeah. So uh, here's a little bit of backstory. Yes, I used to be kind of a ruffian in the past. That's hard to tell right now that I'm like full-blown otaku. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I, I have 
kind of dabbled a bit into the underground society life in the past when I was much younger. And now here I am, a, a guy, a single guy who is like pretty much good with all the cooking and cleaning and all that kind of... I, I'm not kidding, man. You know, like I graduated with a culinary uh, di- a diploma, so <laughs> I can cook. And my, my specialty is Japanese food, so... Uh, <laughs> so relatable, yes. <laughs> so yes, like I said, because I love manga series that features food, of course I gravitated to this. Um, I finally can have a physical collection of the manga series. And of course, the TV drama just ended with 10 episodes. Um, hopefully, I'm waiting for the news of a Blu-ray release for the TV series so I can add it to my collection. Um Right now, they have not announced it because they are doing a spin-off for the live-action TV series. And here's the funny thing. The live-action TV series kind of deteriorated from the manga's original story. Um, initially, they followed quite well, but then they added a few characters that did not exist in the manga series. So yes, if you want to follow the entire series of Goku Shu Fudo, um, you definitely need to read the manga and of course watch the drama but don't criticize it too hard because they are both its own thing. Uh, they do promote food and of course the way of the Yakuza uh, in a hilarious uh, comical style. Then of course the spin-off is even more comical because that one, the spin-off actually focuses a bit more on food. The TV drama focuses more on a bit of the Yakuza lifestyle. Uh, of course, they do touch upon some of the topics that are in the manga itself. And of course, there was that big announcement that this is getting a Netflix anime adaptation. So, I don't know if the anime series is going to get its Blu-ray collection because it's under Netflix. Uh, If it does get a physical release as a Blu-ray collection, I will definitely be buying it because I just love this series a lot. I'm sure you guys have heard of this. This is probably one of the more prominent... um, anime series or uh, manga titles you know that i've shown off here uh, the rest are all pretty much niche stuff so yes that's it guys we have done it we have filmed through another round of unboxing videos oh god this is a long one so if you guys actually watch through the entire thing leave a comment in the comment section down below saying that i survived this unboxing video <laughs> <laughs> and of course, if you did, make sure you leave a like if you enjoyed all the merchandise here um, shown this unboxing video and subscribe if you're brand new to the channel and of course, if you guys have been watching my content and have not subscribed what in the world are you doing? Please subscribe! And of course, ring that bell notification icon so that you guys know whenever I release a brand new video so yes guys, it's been a long day. I can finally go and sleep and prepare for the start of 2021. <laughs> At this point of time that I'm finally ending my recording, it's actually the 31st of December. Yes, it took me that long to get this video out. Uh, and I still have to edit the, the music that you guys are currently hearing in the background of this video. Oh god, yes. Yeah, it's, it's not easy being a YouTuber, so it really means a lot to us if you guys watch through the whole video, even if you're watching it in parts because this video is very long. Uh, like I said, as long as you support us wholeheartedly by watching through the entire thing, subscribing, leaving a like, you know, leaving the thoughts of the content in the comments down below. It's all love, man. I mean, that we are definitely appreciative of. Anyway guys, thank you guys so much for joining me on another unboxing video. And of course, if you guys are watching this on the last day of 2020, uh, Happy New Year to you guys. Uh, If it is New Year for you guys, I I think if you guys are in the US, you still got one day ahead. (laughs) Uh, Until then guys, I'll see you guys next year in another unboxing video. And hopefully, let me try and put out another episode of the Nonary Games before this year ends as well. So a lot of work, a lot of hard work, a lot of dedication to the YouTube channel. Support! And until then, bye! Yes, support my friend Phoebe as well. Kickstarter link in the description down below. <laughs>